Five Bernie County High School Bulldogs have just won a mission so big it's out of this world. The high school culinary arts students were just named NASA's lunch program culinary champions. Uh, it earned them full ride scholarships to one of the top culinary programs in the country. Even more unique, KXAN's Caitlin Carmuth shows us their winning chicken recipe heading to the International Space Station. Don't mess with these top space dogs. They're dishing up flavors sure to send astronauts taste buds into orbit. Crazy to think that we even made it this far because top 10 was a surprise, so number one was even a bigger surprise. JC Houston and her culinary team of five spent their last year of high school researching and coming up with the winning recipe. So first semester was all about researching how to process food to go into space. And after that, we started, you know, working on recipes. It had to meet the astronauts nutritional requirements and of course be manageable in a microgravity environment. 33 schools across the country competed, many vocational culinary schools, but Burnett High School took the top prize. They had to learn a lot of things about human anatomy and gravity and how do you take food to space. And the team landed on a creamy chicken francais. Could still taste good even though we were taking away some of the components like heavy cream and some of the salt contents. And of course, I had to try it out myself. Lots of flavor. I'd say that's pretty good, and the astronauts are going to love it. In Burnett County, Caitlin Carver, KXAN News. She didn't bring any back to us, though. A NASA Hunch Project Manager says the recipe should be processed and sent to the International Space Station in six to eight months. Preparing food in space varies with different food types. According to NASA, some foods can be eaten in their natural forms, like brownies and fruit. Other foods, like spaghetti and macaroni and cheese, require water. An oven is provided for the astronauts, but... They don't have a refrigerator, so space food must be stored and prepared correctly so it does not spoil. Condiments like ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise are also provided for the astronauts. Salt and pepper are provided, but in liquid form. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> That's because uh, the uh, granular uh, salt pellets and the pepper would all float around yeah. if that were the case. And they could clog the air vents as well, contaminate the equipment, or get stuck in an astronaut's eyes or nose. Not a good thing.